Hi everyone, welcome back to Pinet Labs. My name is Chirag and in this video today, I am going to teach you how you can use Packet Tracer for tracking and understanding your network. Packet Tracer is something that can give you a great sense of your network. It has been a game changer in the world of networking and it's a very powerful tool for visualizing and simulating your networks. Whether you are a beginner or you have some experience in networking, this tool is for you. It will give you an essential understanding of how your network is working and how you can design your network. So when it comes to network tracking, it is a, you can say, one of the biggest challenge that we face as a network engineer, right? Networks are getting more and more complex every passing day. There are multiple devices, there are multiple connections, there are so many protocols to keep a track of. And it is very easy to get lost in the sea of information. Making sense of all this data is something which is really difficult. But there is a bigger challenge. That bigger challenge is scalability. As our network grows, we also have to grow the amount of data which is passing through the network. I mean, if there would be more devices, there would be more data that's passing through the devices and it becomes even more difficult to understand, process, and analyze that particular information. This can lead to slower response times, right? And decreased performance and a higher risk of error and downtime because you are not able to understand, analyze your network flows. And you can say in, in today's digital environment, it's very uh, simple and it's very obvious that my network is going to get bigger every passing day, right? If you enjoyed the content of the video, don't forget to like and share the video and subscribe to our channel. Real-time monitoring is crucial and is the need of the hour. We need a tool that can track our network in real time, can identify the potential issues and can put them before they become a major problem. Right. So this requires a tool that can keep up with this fast-paced world of networking, providing the accurate and timely data to take appropriate decisions. We have tools for that as well. We have SNMP tools, we have monitoring tools, and Packet Tracer also can help you here a bit. The need of the real-time monitoring is to understand the flow that's happening through my network, is to understand the problems that my network is facing. And Packet Tracer addresses these challenges by giving you the ability through a simple drag and drop interface where you can uh, quickly and easily build and simulate your network configuration. This simulation capability is a game changer, I'll tell you. This will allow you to refine the network in the virtual environment first, and uh, this will allow you to take the experimentations that you want to perform on your network. This will give you a great sense of understanding of your network by visually representing the complex networks and protocols, Packet Tracer makes it very easy to identify the area of improvement and give you the understanding that you require for taking the appropriate decisions. It also provides you a wide range of customization options. I'll show you some of them. Like just a quick introduction. This is the Packet Tracer tool. There are various options here on the top. Then uh, some categories of devices are available at the bottom side. There are networking devices like routers. All these are the router models that you can choose from. Then we have switches. Then you also have hubs, wireless devices, and so on. You also get end devices like PC, laptop, server, TV, IP phone, many more. Then you have uh, components that you can add or remove. Then you have the connections where you can find almost all the types of cables. You can see there is console cable, straight through cable, crossover cable, then you have fiber cable, and then again, so many others, right? So you have so many things here to explore and experiment with. Then uh, you can design your topology, you can add nodes, you can add shapes, rectangles, circles, whatever you want, basically, to make it more detailed and precise, right? So it, it offers a wide range of customization options as well, allowing users to tailor the um, tool as per their specific needs and requirements. So if you are a working professional who, uh, who is quite experienced, then you may want to create a complex network, right? 
you may want to design something that's there in your production environment and maybe want to experiment something on that or maybe want to replicate the configurations on that so you can do that easily and if you are a beginner let's say you have started learning about networking recently then again this is a great tool for studying you can learn you can experiment you can create lab scenarios for yourself and can understand the protocols in a better possible manner and then like i said there are options for customization you can check the preferences options there are options to enable and disable animations uh, the device names the port labels uh, you can see there are so many things even the qos champing you can enable or disable on the packets then you can play sounds you can customize it as per your choice there are many other tabs under which you can find different options to change and modify font can be increased or decreased color scheme can be modified and so many other things right so it makes it more user friendly like i personally like this much of the font size but if let's say someone is willing to have it a little smaller then they can simply go and modify that here and apply you see it gets a little smaller so as we can see here so many options are there as per our, as per the requirements or as per the environmental uh, needs you can modify the cisco packet tracer tool as well then uh, by using the cisco packet tracer i'll show you a quick simulation of a network and uh, we'll be able to see exactly how packets are moving through the system which is i guess the best feature of the packet tracer so it will give you the ability of identifying the bottlenecks and uh, the areas of improvements which can allow you to make data driven decisions you will know where exactly the packet is getting uh, troubled or where exactly the problem is in your whole network right this will uh, help you in refining your network and configurations to optimize the network performance so we'll create a small scenario i'll go to the network devices i'll take a switch and that's how simply you can add it you simply need to click on that and drag it to the workspace this is your logical workspace area I've added a switch. I can place it wherever I like. Then I'll go to end devices and I'll add some PCs. I'll take three PCs like that. Then we will build the connections using cables. So there is this option of automatically choose connection type, which will automatically put the appropriate cable between the devices. Then for adding the details you have the option of adding a note i'll click on that and i'll specify that my subnet is going to be 192.168.1.0/24 i'm going to use this subnet i'll go back to the select tool i will select my pc0 i'll go to the desktop and under the ip configuration i'll set the ip for pc0 as 192.168.1.1 then i can add the subnet mask the default one appears automatically if you want to modify you can do that similarly i'll go to the other pcs and i'll quickly put the ip address on them 1.2 this will be 1.3 once that is done i will click on this simulation button the simulation mode i'll tell you this is a personally this personally is my favorite feature of packet tracer as i'll show you what it does now i'll go to pc0 from the command prompt i'll ping the 192.168 oops 192.168.1.3 ip enter and you can see some packets are appearing on my pc we can see what these packets are if you click on them you can see the details of that particular packet but then there are these uh, play buttons I'll click on the next button. You can see the packet traveling from PC zero to switch. Then, because it's a ARP request, it's gonna get broadcasted. So, ARP is the protocol that we use for learning the destination MAC address. So, just a quick introduction. This will get broadcasted. Broadcasted means will go everywhere. I'll I'll click next, and you can see the switch has sent it to both the devices, right? but we were trying to communicate with 192.168.1.3 not with 1.2 so you can see pc1 is denying a reply to that it will not reply to it but will pc2 reply to it let's see yes it does 
This is the R reply. In this reply, we are getting the MAC address of PC2. It will come to PC0. Once PC0 knows about the destination MAC address, it will start sending the ping packets, the ICMP packets. You can see the orange color represents the ICMP packets. I'll click next. The packet will go to switch. Switch will give it to PC. PC will give a reply. Reply will come back to PC0. That's how the communication works, right? Now you see how easy it was to understand how ping, ICMP echo, and ICMP reply works, and even the ARP protocol. It was easy because we were able to visualize, we were able to see the flow of packet. This was a simple scenario. It can also be used for looking into your complex network scenarios and optimizing the network. With a simple interface and powerful simulation uh, capabilities, the, you can create a perfect solution for yourself. If let's say you have a complex scenario or you want to experiment something, then uh, do explore this. It's available for free on Cisco's website and <clears throat> make sure you experiment a lot with it. It's a great learning tool. Whether you are a beginner or someone who is experienced, it's going to work as a great tool for you to understand protocols and maybe experiment some new configuration on the devices. I have been using Packet Tracer for various scenarios. I've tried so many complex labs on it. Most of the labs were successful. There are uh, some limitations on the particular tool, uh, but those are not, I would say, a lot or very big problems. You can definitely uh, work with them. You can ignore them and uh, can understand and learn the protocols and the networking technologies very simply and easily through this particular Packet Tracer tool. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments that uh, if you have an experience or uh, some use some any some some other networking uh, tool or maybe some some tool like Cisco Packet Tracer or if Packet Tracer, then what did you try or what did you experiment on that? Share your experiences and maybe some tips for the community in the comment box. And if you are interested to learn more about advanced networking techniques, then do check out my other related videos. Make sure you subscribe the channel and thanks for watching again.